The real limitations of artificial intelligence are that it doesn't seem that these systems really are subjects. They are uh, physical systems that consist of um, states containing a great deal of information in a distributed form. But one thing that's rather unique about human consciousness as we experience it is that one and the same person can compare multiple thoughts, multiple experiences, all at the same time. In other words, there's a kind of a unity to consciousness, which is the sense that we know what's going on in our life. But when we look at the computer system, it being so distributed, there doesn't seem to be any one subject that we could say is having experiences uh, or, or having thoughts. And because of that, um, it doesn't seem that the, uh, the computer system really has goals of its own. So even when Deep Blue beat Garry Kasparov, no one thinks that Deep Blue was trying to beat Kasparov or was happy that it did. It didn't have those kinds of goals. Um, it couldn't have them because they're the kind of goals that, you, that are personal. In order to have personal goals, you have to have an identifiable uh, subject. And the machine is really just a collection of states with information, some of it in its memory, some of it in storage. Um, but there does not seem to be any one subject um, that is trying to gain knowledge about the world or is trying to solve problems. Rather, we are using the system to extend our knowledge uh, and to solve our problems. So we're the ones who have the goals and we use the system to help us uh, achieve those goals.